glory to God. So let's go to uh, Proverbs chapter 6, verse uh, 10. It says, yet a little sleep and a little slumber and a little folding of the hands to sleep. So shall your poverty come as one that travaileth, and thy want as an armed man. Now, let's go to verse 11. It talks about two things. Poverty cometh. You heard about money cometh. But this is poverty cometh. Which is very powerful. Think about that. Poverty cometh is a satanic decree over your life. Don't let it happen. Poverty cometh is a prophetic declaration that demons have over you. This powerful, this powerful. And this is why the Holy Spirit introduces you to power from on high. In his laws, in the seed, in praise, in diligence, in uh, focus. You know, even how you dress could attract money favor. Saying sometimes I, I, I rarely go out in public now. I don't. How could I say it's not that I don't want to be bothered with the world, but I'm so content. You understand? I feel like I live life. You understand? Like, the more wisdom you have, the different your ambitions. Like some people be dreaming all types of stuff. So, so if you take a note, write it down. Wisdom uh, changes the goal you desire to accomplish. Wisdom changes the goals you desire to accomplish. It does. When I go out in public, sometimes, sometimes it be grown men with their with their wife and all that. The man up there, he he done dropped the woman. The door done hit her. He done opened up the door for me. <laughs> I'm like, go and get your go and get your water buffalo. You don't hit the water buffalo. You ain't getting none tonight. I'm trying to help you, player. Nick Cannon Jr. Wilding out, spirit. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to keep it hot and spicy. He done, he done, <laughs> he done hit her in the back like a cognac. He done hit her in the back. The door done hit her in the back. He don't even care. He done open up the door for me. Uh, Authority is tangible. If you're taking notes, write that down. Authority is tangible. If you're taking notes, write that down. And authority is visible. And authority is magnetic. So, so the authority in the name of Jesus is really a glue to everything that belongs to you. The authority in the name of Jesus is a glue to everything that belongs to you. So, because... Authority is tangible, is visible, is magnetic. When you walk in an authority, people can see that. Like saints, there's, there's strangers that do stuff that my sons would do. Because authority is, uh, is, 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 uh, it's tangible. You can feel when there's an authority figure. Do you know how many people I meet that they tell me, you got to be somebody. I just feel it. You you on, you, you on the news show? You must be a news reporter. What, what is you? you? You somebody. You somebody. I can feel it. I always get that from people. It'd be funny to me because sometimes I don't be in the mood to be. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm, I Listen. Shoot. Man, up there. I saw you before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's me. That's me, brother. Uh huh. Sherman had relations. Sherman had relations. I was in the movie. I was starring in there. I was that. 
Buddy Love, you know what I'm saying? I, I drove up in the Corvette, swung it around, brought it down, wiped me down. That's all I did, you know what I'm saying? And saying sometimes I got catchphrases that I use. Sometimes people are like, where are you? I be like, I'm an entertainer. Wow! Like, wow, man. The same thing I did when I smelt your breath, man. Wow! Like, you really going to... You just going to come up here and smell like toilet water? <laughs> Blessed be his holy name. How many of y'all celebrate Halloween with your broke self? And people up there... I looked around. People got big old houses celebrating Halloween. But I saw one Halloween that was real provocative. Two skeletons was on each other. I said, these are two Africans. <laughs> I done offended somebody. I said, these are two Africans in adultery. <laughs> I, <don't>, I, <laughs> I said, I said no, nah, these, is, these is some Simonians in, some, in adultery. Some adultery. Adulterating. Praise God. So shall poverty come, cometh as one that travaileth, and your want as an armed man. Now, saints, do you, <laughs> you some of y'all didn't catch that. I said there was two skeletons on each other. Oh. <laughs> some, some of y'all done went to sleep. You ain't catch none. I just said, I said there was two skeletons on each <laughs> other. Some of y'all take your little time. You take your time. I said there was two skeletons on each other on their, on their Halloween decoration. Like hold, holding each other on a swing. One side, <laughs> one side and was laughing. It's true. Don't wear wine somewhere being happy, that's all. <laughs> There's only two things that can stop a man from ministering. Or receiving ministry. <laughs> well, he receiving ministry. Now, never mind, moving along. Moving along. Moving along. <laughs> so shall poverty come in. Poverty come in is a satanic curse that has been declared over your life. Everything the devil inspires you to do is to create loss. You take a note, write that down. Everything the devil influences you to do is to create loss. Everything that he whispers in your ear is for you to experience loss. See, King Jesus wants to increase you. The devil wants to decrease you. Even if he got to get you away from someone that's carrying the wisdom for your life. Saints, you imagine how dumb is it if God locked up my prosperity in a person and and I get mad at the person. Well, how am I prosper? Because God ain't got it. The prophet got it. So how am I get it? The only way God I can get from God is establishment. Believe the Lord God and you'll be established. But believe his prophet, so shall you prosper. So, so that means that I have to live a life that is void of happiness. Because there are things that has the DNA of my happiness in it. I'm going to say this again. There are things that have the DNA of my happiness in it. My God. I'm going to say it again. There are things that have the DNA of my happiness in it. A lot of people don't know this. You ever had somebody? All right. Saints, you ever met them people up there, they give you a, a sorry gift, said, well, that's the thought that counts. Nigga, if you don't give me a better gift. <laughs> I'm going to cut your ankles off myself. Nah, nah, nah I know I wasn't expecting that, but you better come through. I ain't having, nah, nah, don't, nah, I know the gift count. I know you make $2 an hour. I know you make $2 an hour. I know you make two, I know you make $2 an hour, but you better come better. You better come better. I, nah, don't, don't, you better arrive better. Huh?
It's your birthday. Somebody give you a journal, Tulsa. You know, you can write more. I love your writing. Get this journal out my face. Now, I'm not going to pay for your dental insurance either. That's your fault. Your teeth weren't strong enough first, first time. Your teeth wasn't strong enough. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Your teeth was, wasn't strong enough whether I hit it or I didn't hit it. It was going to come out somewhere or another because you. Why, why do you do that? Huh? That's inside of you. You love the feeling of knowing that somebody got you something. That you actually can use. And it actually births happiness once you get it. Once you get it into your hands, you realize how it makes you happy. I had this uh, piece of her driver. Well, it came, came to my house, right? And people be all nosy and stuff. <laughs> All right, Santa Claus, come on, man. Shoot, hey, you ain't. Ha ha ha, man. I don't want. I don't want smell no nicotine on the pizza box. That's what I, I ain't trying to do. I don't want smoke on the pizza box. That's what I'm talking about. The box. I ain't. No, you can't get the inside, but on the outside, the, the outward appearance. See, God don't look on the outward appearance, but see. Because I'm a pizza, I, I'm I'm looking on the outward appearance. I'm, so 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 I don't I don't want no smoke. <laughs> so so gave I gave gave the pizza guy a rather large tip, and his and his, and his uh his response changed real quick when he got the tip. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Really? Oh, you have a blessed night. God loves you. God needs you. God wants you. There's a blessing coming to you in 72 hours. I ain't nobody hearing me. God will do it. He'll make a way. Ain't nothing gonna stop him. If you go through the valley, the valley won't kill you. If you go through the noonday, the noonday won't get you. If you go through the valley, it still won't stop you. God go about to take you to another place. Touch your neighbor's hands. He don't know what he about to do in your life. He about to do something mighty. I know I ain't supposed to be in this neighborhood. Y'all ain't preaching like... Brother, if you don't get out of here, I ain't... So shall poverty cometh. Poverty cometh is a satanic declaration. And look what it say next. It's opposite to money cometh. Look what it say next. And your want shall come as an armed man. Look what it say. And your want shall come as an armed man. Now saints, do you know what want means? It's telling you in this text that all your desires are going to be aborted. What do you want? It's saying you ain't going to have it. It's saying whatever you want is going to be empty. You're never going to achieve it. This is not your destiny in life, child of God. And don't let this happen to you. And don't let the devil win this because this is what he battling to establish in your life. Poverty cometh is a satanic declaration, is, is a demonic prophetic decree. And your want never being fulfilled. Say, Father, I receive sound wisdom. I receive sound wisdom. And understanding from you. 
and say, Father, I receive divine instructions that birth production and stop destruction in Jesus name. Let's go to Proverbs chapter eight, verse 10. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. Now, saints, this scripture changed my life. That's why I got around multimillionaires. And I ain't asked them for nothing. I have never got around a multimillionaire and asked them for nothing, not even food. But look, look, look what it say right here. Receive my instruction, not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. Saints, do you know what this is saying? It's telling you, disregard the money right now. Magnify the instructions and magnify the knowledge that you're going to be taught because all your money is in this. Billions and trillions of dollars is in you knowing this. See, some of y'all hear me teach on the seed. I'm showing you how I came out. How I shut the devil down in my life. The devil can't stop me if he tried. It's not by might nor by power, it's by the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is in the knowledge and is in the instructions. And once you possess these, your wealth and your riches have no choice but to continually find you. Look what it say. Receive my instruction, not silver. Do you understand how massive this is? It's saying don't even receive no money right now. Because until you receive these instructions, that money that you receive, even it is temporal. Wow. Shh. Says this heavy. Look what it say right here. Receive my instruction, not silver, because it's saying even the silver would destroy you if you receive it right now without first receiving the instruction. Follow protocol, blood. <laughs> Saints, in this text is telling you that if you don't receive the instruction first, even the silver is going to be destructive to your life, your relationship with God, your eternal life is not going to work out good. And then it says, receive knowledge rather than choice gold, meaning high wealth, high money, high billionaire, millionaire, trillionaire status, all this stuff. Get knowledge, pursue the knowledge. Be Rather than trying to pursue this. See saints. What I'm teaching you. The knowledge. Is trillionaire and billionaire. Birth and knowledge. And I'm showing you how to unlock the streams of her villa. And not only unlock it. But how to lock it up. From demons that want to access it. Because how many of you all know that you can get inside of an, a, a, a home, but if you don't lock the doors, anybody can get into that home with you? Wow. And that's what a lot of you all have not been able to secure. I know, I know you heard uh, secure the bag, but I come to tell you secure the, ba the, the blessing. And secure the wisdom. And secure the knowledge. And secure the instruction. Secure the soul. Wow. It's powerful. Look at what it's saying in the text. It's telling you. 
that don't even look to receive money because the money can't deliver you if you're not delivered. It can't deliver you if you're not delivered. So get the instruction and get the knowledge because in these things is the deliverance so that when the money hit, it can accomplish for why it was sent. My God. See, money can't defend you if you didn't let wisdom defend you. My God, hear what I just heard the Holy Ghost said. That's why I said in the word that wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. Why did I say wisdom too? Because the money can't even function in its defensive abilities until you have embraced the defense abilities of wisdom. You got to let wisdom defend you first before money can remove you from the curse. Wow. So the reason why the Bible said that wisdom is a defense and money is a defense is because wisdom is really going to activate money into its ministry when it comes to you. Because there's a place in the Bible where it talks about how, how, watch what it says in verse 4, chapter 11. Riches will not profit you in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivers you from death. Wow. You know what it's telling you? It's telling you that this riches is not able to defend you because you didn't let wisdom defend you yet. My God. My God. Saints, did you hear what I just said? It's saying that it can't stop the wrath of God because God is wrathful because you was foolish. Remember, foolishness unlocks the anger of Jesus. What did he do? He went inside the temple and got angry because he said, this is a house of prayer. You have made a den of thieves. So what he's saying, you robbing me of what I'm asking for. And you just accumulating what you want, but you're not giving me what I want. So saints, foolishness unlocks the anger of Jesus. So imagine if we deal with wrath, it means that your foolishness have been so intense that now God can't even take it no more. He got to clap back. Watch this, saints. It says riches does not profit in the day of wrath. Why? Because in the day of wrath, God is only seeing fools. So now he's dealing with fools. So why does these riches does not benefit? Because these riches did not come as a result of wisdom. It came as a result of being a thief, a result of scheming and tricking and acquiring it in the satanic system. So now it's telling you that these riches can't defend you. But watch what it say. But righteousness delivered from death. So remember, seek ye first the kingdom of God, Matthew 6, 33, and all his righteousness and all other things, riches, shall be added unto thee. So this is the riches that delivers you from death, which is separation from God. Wow. Wow. When I'm sowing, I'm delivering myself from being separated from God. That's why when you're not a sower, that's why when you're not honoring God, you feel like God distant from you. It's not nobody. It's because you, you're not operating in what righteousness was taught to you to do. Now, saints, John the Baptist showed you something powerful that righteousness can be easily missed because you already made up in your mind what is righteous. Because John the Baptist didn't want to baptize Jesus and Jesus said, baptize me that righteousness may be fulfilled. Wow. So that shows you that there are realms of righteousness that you could have blind spots in and not move in it. And it's the very thing that Jesus is saying. Wow. Wow. Mm, 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 mm. But righteousness delivered from death. When I'm sowing, nothing can separate me from God. 
because it's the righteousness of God. Uh, Second Corinthians chapter nine said that this increase the fruits of my righteousness when I'm sowing. So it's letting me know right here that this is what the seed produces. It brings me into a place where now I'm able to do what God tell me to do, have what God want me to have. And this stuff will be a deliverance to me. So this is how money is a defense because I've let wisdom be my defense first. And now money can fulfill its ministry because I let wisdom fulfill her ministry. Mm, 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 mm. Saints, this is why so many people are unguarded with money. They're unguarded because the money did not come from wisdom. It came from wickedness. So the Bible say the wealth of the wicked. My God. It says the wealth of the wicked, meaning that these people were of wickedness. That's how they got the money. That money can't protect you or produce happiness because it's stolen goods. Wow, 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 wow. Saints, do you know how mighty this is, man? Do you know how mighty this is? Do, do you know how mighty this is? So God is saying for those of you all that's operating the way that I want, that activates money through sowing, through working, through serving, through submitting, those of you all that's doing it my way, I'm going to take those things, that money, that wealth that was in the hands of those that didn't do it my way, and I'm going to transfer it to you. Saints, this mighty. You know why? Because this God just revealed to you that there's a supernatural inheritance that's even in the wicked's hands that he going to make come to you just because you're doing what he say. It's not because you put a gun to the wicked head. It's not because you told the wicked, you better release my money right now. It's not because you came and said, you better give me my stuff. No, no, it ain't got nothing to do with your might nor your power. The fact that you let the spirit of God show you what he wants you to do, he going to go and release power in Pharaoh's camp and release the silver and gold to you. Coming out with silver and gold. The, the stuff ain't got nothing to do with who you know and what school you went to and how many people like you. Ain't got nothing to do with nothing. It got everything to do with the fact that you're following protocol. See, saints, ain't nobody made me rich. The Holy Ghost gave me an anointing to sow. And then I humbled myself for the anointing to reap. Because a lot of times you don't reap because of self-righteousness. Oh, nah, I'm okay. You ain't got to do that. Nah, I'm good. I got it. And, 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 and you do all that stuff. And while you're doing all that stuff, you end up saying, no, no, I don't want this. You can do this. You can do that. You can do that. And you're missing out on what God trying to do to you. Don't talk yourself out of abundance. No, I'm good where I'm at. I, I, I'm good. I, I don't want nothing more. Take everything. I don't want it. That ain't the song for you. You don't need to God to take none away. Just learn how to do good, man. Stop listening to them daggone surrender songs and, and let that become your philosophy. You need to learn how to humble yourself without God having to take everything from you. You should realize that everything belongs to him every way. Start giving it to him. Humble yourself. By humility and the fear of the Lord is riches, honor, life, Proverbs 22 and 4.